Okay. Um, so let's let's get starting again. Um, we left off after some refactoring and uh, creating the singleton function, and uh, we did this because the tests didn't look as nice and crisp as we wanted. There was a lot of empty here and empty there, and uh, we just wanted an easy way to create a a node that just contained a value. So uh, after being able to insert stuff, we want to also find stuff. And uh, in this case, uh, what we're looking for is finding the smallest uh, in the tree. Uh, so we're gonna start doing describe uh, smallest. And uh, we will have some lists here. Uh, sorry, some tests here, and uh, the test um, it finds smallest, smallest, mm -hmm. smallest. Uh, well, it it uh, returns nothing when the is empty. Uh, I would usually say that this is a poor name uh, since it's more saying what it does instead of why or like the behavior but better to have a name than uh, no name at all and I believe that it's um, even more difficult to uh, not have this kind of name when you're doing something that is very close to the domain of programming itself. So since we're building a data structure and not something that is, uh, I would say, facing a user, it's it's harder to not make this kind of name. Um, so what we want is uh, we have a empty uh, tree and. Uh, we want to get the smallest and we want it to equal uh, nothing uh, and of course we don't have the smallest here and uh, we have smallest uh, and I'm gonna actually write the type first uh, since it's easier for me to think about that currently um, and we, we're taking a tree and uh, we just start with k. We know it needs to be comparable later probably, but let's start with a tree of k. Um, and you may be hear some cats in the background and I'm sorry for that. And then we just create it and we take the tree and uh, we actually want to have a maybe k here. Maybe k. And the weird thing here is that without any logic, the easiest thing we can do is do nothing, uh, which sadly will also uh, fulfill the um, test, I think. Right, it says that we need to um, expose uh, it, which is true, and then we need to uh, import it. And uh, it needs to rerun some time. Right, okay, so we have this basic test going. Now we want to have uh, a test that is um, um, that this is the simplest case when we only have one item. Uh, it returns. Uh, hmm. If uh, there is only one value, it returns it. So if we have a singleton of one, it should also be uh, just one. Right. So let's do a case of three. Case three. Uh, 
this was the empty case, right? So we do that, and then we ask the editor to add the missing ones. And here we can just uh, return k. And we're gonna need to silence these. And it should work. So uh, we want now to have one more test case uh, that just don't get us uh, rushing into just solving everything at the same time. Uh, so I'm not going to go for uh, the largest, uh, like if you have a larger branch, because if you have that, then uh, this code that we already have will still work right because if you have a larger branch it, it doesn't really care uh, so i'm going to go for having something smaller so i'm going to add a two here and then insert a one and we're going to see what's happening here And I want to see the error. Right, okay, so the error here is actually that I had the wrong name here. If there is only uh, it, it looks for uh, small, small, smallest in the smaller branch, uh, I think is a quite good name for this. Um, mm, now it looks better. So we got just yes, two, but we want just three. Uh, sorry, <laughs> just one. Uh, and the reason for this, of course, is that um, we want to uh, look here in in the smaller one. So this is actually if this is empty. Right. Otherwise, uh, we want to go into the next one. And we can see here that the compiler is complaining because we are missing a case here. And now we wish the tools were better, but they aren't. So let's take a different case and say smaller. So if we have a branch here that is not an empty, we can then do uh, smallest, uh, smaller, right? And the thing is, since we have implemented it and we can't see any <clears throat> issue, I think like that one then, uh, with not looking into the larger branch, we're actually done. We don't need any more tests. So by not going down that road, we also minimize the amount of testing we needed. Uh, so this was a very quick episode. I'm sorry if there were no noise in the background from my cats, but uh, we we did this little trip down uh, test-driven development lane and uh, got a very short and neat uh, function that of course should be very short and neat. So thank you and see you in uh, the next video.